Hey guys, I'm out here in Maryland at Bud's Creek Raceway. This is one of the most famous and scenic tracks on the entire national circuit, and we're here for the 2011 KX250F. Hey guys, this is Russ Brennan with Kawasaki Motors. Welcome to Mechanicsville, Maryland. So we've taken the bike that's won more championships and more races than any other bike in the class and improved upon it for 11. Got some uh, major changes we want to talk about, starting off with the front of the bike, an all new fork. This is uh, Showa's single function front fork. Uh, Showa's fork has got two separate chambers. Basically, one of them controls your spring preload, which is adjustable, and the other one controls your compression and damping. It utilizes one spring on the right fork leg. All your valving is now on the left, and uh, preload adjustable, uh, really, really high quality fork, uh, great adjustability for your track condition. Pretty cool technology, it's sort of new for the motocross class, or at least modern motocross bikes. Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike Henderson. Bike's pretty sweet, everything about the bike, you know, same as last year with the chassis and frame, but motor, things of powerhouse everywhere pull it down at the bottom all the way through the mid, still has it strong on top. So we tested out the fork preload, went all the way in on it, rode it for a few laps, went all the way out with it, rode it a few laps, and went right in the middle. Things seemed to handle good everywhere, every which direction I tried to put the bike, it would stick. Checking out the forks, they're pretty trick. So with the suspension, moved it around quite a bit today. The track was a little bit slick at the beginning. Overall, started getting rough, so the suspension really started to handle really good. I went from one extreme to the other testing it, and really the bike never, never had any problems. In addition to that, the other big feature on the 11 model is the switch from carburation to digital fuel injection. You can see right here, there's these little letters, FI. The bike's fuel injected now. That's definitely a big step for Kawasaki in the 250 class. We've had this on the KX450F for the last couple of years. We're bringing it to the 250F. It's gonna be uh, almost perfect fuel delivery, adjust for atmospheric pressure. On the motor end of it, we started out the morning. It was a little bit slick. We got a big double here at Bud's Creek. Came up a little bit short in the morning. As the track started to come around, we were able to get the jump pretty good. It was, you know, second gear's taller, fourth gear's taller able to get all the way over it just because, you know, fuel injected, landed in a couple holes, never bogged out on me one time. Thing just pulls from top to bottom. But another really great feature is a Kawasaki tuning tool that you can hook up to this bike. We have some ports under the front number plate. You can go ahead and change the mapping of this bike to suit your riding skill, your riding style, track conditions, etc. Uh, seven presets on that, a really cool system. And we've done a few other things to the bike as well. Obviously, we've had to make some changes to the motor to complement the DFI. We've gone ahead and used a higher compression piston. We've increased the airbox volume uh, boot by 10% uh, and we're using a longer header pipe, all to complement the DFI system. We've gone ahead and made some changes to gearing as well. The primary gearing's changed primarily second and fourth gear, and then of course we've made changes to the final drive, going to a 52th rear sprocket for 11. Other changes to the chassis, moving from the aluminum engine mount plates to steel. Now this is something we got right out of the race team. Uh, Chad Reed and Ride Milipoto did a lot of testing this year. They're given the choice aluminum or steel. Both of them chose to go with the steel plates. It just provides optimal uh, rigidity for the frame and it really improves the handling. With the handling of the bike, everything went real well with it. There was a couple spots I had a little issues with, a couple off cambers that kind of wouldn't stick very well. It might do, you know, be a tire selection on my part. But overall, it would stick in the ruts. It was a little bit pushy towards the outsides of the, uh, of the slick stuff. But ruts, it was great. It's actually squatted in the rear. And then on the front, everything worked pretty good. Coming down with all the hills at Bud's Creek, we had good brakes on the front. Had a little bit of issues with the rear. It started to get squishy towards the end of the day. Front brakes seemed to stay good pretty much throughout the day. It was a little bit soft for my liking. For my opinion, I'd like to see a bigger disc on the front. 
stock. I'd like to see a bigger disc on the rear, a little bit more braking for me. But overall, it still worked pretty good. Overall perspective on the bike, it handled good. The fuel injection is nice. I'd, I'd definitely like to see a little bit more horsepower come out of it. But overall, it's a great bike. 2011 KX250F might just be the bike for you. You can check out more details here at MotorcycleUSA.com or go to Kawasaki.com.